uh, you want us to register thermal gallons. I have homes that have heating, hot water, cooking stoves, generators, dryers, all on the same system. And there is no possible way. It, it's, a, it's a question that cannot be answered. How much goes to just the thermal sector versus a cook stove, a generator? When the generator cooks on, what portion of that is going to the thermal sector versus a cooking stove and a dryer? And, you know, how many people are in the house? How long were they out of power? You were asking us an imponderable question. We can't possibly be fair to either side to answer that question. If you have an answer to that, I, I'm open to hear it, but I don't know how we can fill this out and be honest and fair to either myself as the gas company or the customer. I hear your frustration and thank you for sharing it. Tom, did you have a response? Uh, yeah, it's, so I, I agree, Judy. I don't think that's information that's knowable. Um, you don't know what every customer is doing with their fuel. Uh, we, we are implementing the statute and collecting the information that was required by the statute. You know, is it a heating fuel? Was it sold in Vermont? That's that's what we're asking. Uh, I understand that heating fuels can be actually used for multiple end uses, cooking, you know, generators, everything that you listed. Uh, so we're, we're doing our best to implement this, the exact words of the statute. That's an interpretation. Okay. Yeah, it's an interpretation. And so, you know, obviously I'm going to register and try and figure out how to put something down. But how can you, you question know, what yeah. we put is being accurate? We want to be accurate. And we're trying um, to do that. But how can we be accurate? You don't have a formula we can use. I can make up my own formula, but are you going to come and tell me it's wrong? Because it's a, it's a guesstimate. Do I have a house with 10 people? Do I have a house with two people? Do they do 20 loads of laundry a week or two loads of laundry? So out of the 1,200 gallons, how much is drier? Oh, wait, they have a generator. Oh, wait, they have a pool they heat. Oh, wait, they have a grill box. Imponderable is the perfect word. I can come up with a guesstimate. But are you going to tell me it's wrong because you don't agree? Is there going to be a formula in place to help us do this correctly? We don't have a formula at this time. So what do we put down? So we're, we're, we're trying to collect information on, you know, gallons of heating fuel sold in the state. Um, that, that's, that's, that's simple what as I'm I can put. That's so what I'm telling you that I can't down. give you. But if I, I do, you're going to accept yeah. it. You're going to accept whatever I put down. Doing my best guess, being an honest person, because it's not just heating that we sell. You're going to accept whatever I put down. You're not going to try to audit me and say I'm wrong. Somebody's going to lose here when the penalties are put into place, right? Because we, we really have to guess someone's going to lose, whether it's me trying to be on the safe side and be fair to the customer or estimating high on the customer's end, and they're gonna pay a higher price because I gotta pay that penalty. I, I, I don't know how you're gonna do this. I, I, and I know I'm beating a dead horse, so I'll, I'll get off now to move to the next question, but um, you, we're really in a tough spot trying to be honest about this. ACC, thank you, back again. Uh, hey, I just have a question about the form about once it's submitted, about how you validate the legitimacy of it. And I asked because of security concern that right now the forms are op open to anybody and anybody can fill them out and claim to be anyone. So I'm just wondering about how you validate the forms once they're submitted that the person who submitted them actually has authorization to submit them on behalf of the company. I believe that the department is going to be helping us do that validation. I, I hear your, 
the Department of Public Service. Okay. And I would just also mention that the attestation on that signature page is kind of serving that purpose of, you know, certifying that the information that is being put in there is true and correct. Um, and then also, yeah, I know, but it's not, it's not really a signature. I mean, it's, you can draw type, whatever. So it's not really a signature that you can validate against someone else you know, someone's real signature, so. There are other states that require more documentation to be submitted to validate that. If you think that that's a, a thing that Vermont will need to use, that's um, a useful comment to know. We are not at this time asking for anything other than the attestation. 